Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to insert a table into an ArcMap document. You can do this in Arc Pro as well. So in Layout View, um, I can use the Insert function and insert an object. And there are a ton of options here, which makes it really easy. Um, you can coordinate with a lot of different platforms. Um, for inserting a table, I'm going to use um, Excel. And um, it's a dynamic relationship. So you'll see here that Excel opens. Um, I could navigate to um, a worksheet that I'm already working in, but I'm going to create a simple, um, just a simple table to demonstrate. So I'm going to put in my IDs, my areas, and just do a little bit of formatting. But what you'll see is as I'm doing this, it's dynamically adding the table to ARC. Now you'll see that it's uh, grayed out, and that means that I'm actively editing it over in Excel. So let me shrink this, and you can see both at the same time. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to do a little bit of formatting. Uh, let's see how it looks without that. I think it might look okay. So um, let's just center these. Oh, for goodness sakes. There we go. All right, dynamically updated here. Um, make that a little bit bigger. Now, if I just save this, file and save as. and close it. You can see the hatching goes away, and um, I'm just left with this table. But I can go back to that table and edit it, and it will dynamically update on the layout there. Uh, another way to insert a table, um, not nearly as clever as this and as easy, but you could um, build a table in Word, for example. Okay, so here I've just created a simple table, and then I can use the snipping tool, which of course you won't be able to see, but if you navigate down to the lower left, here, let me move my, and there are a lot of different things that you can use here. Um, so when I create new, then I can just drag and drop. Now, of course, when you do this, um, you're going to want to make sure you don't have any typos or anything weird. So you've got the underscore, and you're going to want it to look nice and clean. I would probably do a save as, and just save it to my desktop. And then you can insert a picture and I'll go find that. Well, that looks terrible. There we go. So the problem with this is it's not dynamic. And now to edit it um, in any way, you're going to have to go back and resave an image. But that's kind of a cheater way to get it done. Um, the dynamic insert feature is definitely a preferred method. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.